Sir Nicholas George Winton, MBE is a British humanitarian who organized the rescue of 669 mostly Jewish children from Nazi-occupied Czechoslovakia on the eve of the Second World War, in an operation later known as the Czech Kinder Transport. Winton found homes for the children and arranged for their safe passage to Britain. The British press has dubbed him the British Schindler. Early life, Nicholas Winton was born in 1909 Hampstead, London, a son of German Jewish parents who had moved to London two years earlier. The family name had been Wertheim, but they changed it to Winton in an effort at integration. They also converted to Christianity, and Winton was baptized. In 1923, Winton entered Stowe School, which had just opened. He left without graduating, attending night school while volunteering at the Midland Bank. He then went to Hamburg, where he worked at Barons Bank, followed by Wasserman Bank in Berlin. In 1931, he moved to France and worked for the Bank Nationale de Croix Copyright Dit in Paris. He also earned a banking qualification in France. Returning to London, he became a broker at the London Stock Exchange. Humanitarian work Shortly before Christmas 1938, Winton was planning to travel to Switzerland for a skiing holiday. He decided instead to visit Prague and help his friend Martin Blake, who had called to ask him to assist in Jewish welfare work. Winton single-handedly established an organization to aid children from Jewish families at risk from the Nazis. He set up his office at a dining room table in his hotel in Wenceslas Square. In November 1938, following the Kristallnacht in Nazi-ruled Germany, the House of Commons approved a measure to allow the entry into Britain of refugees younger than 17, provided they had a place to stay and a warranty of a £50 was deposited for their eventual return to their own country. The Netherlands, an important obstacle was getting official permission to cross into the Netherlands, as the children were destined to embark on the ferry at the Hook of Holland. After the Kristallnacht in November 1938, the Dutch government officially closed its borders to any Jewish refugees. The border guards actively searched for them and returned any found to Germany, despite the horrors of Kristallnacht being well known, Winton succeeded, thanks to the guarantees he had obtained from Britain. After the first train, crossing the Netherlands went smoothly. A Dutch woman, Gatua de Wiesmolemar saved another 10,000 Jewish children, mostly from Vienna and Berlin via the hook though it is not known whether she and Winton ever met. Winton found homes in Britain for 669 children, many of whose parents would perish in Auschwitz. Winton's mother worked with him to place the children in homes and later hostels. Throughout the summer, Winton placed advertisements seeking families to accept them. The last group of 250, scheduled to leave Prague on September 1, 1939, did not reach safety. Hitler had invaded Poland and World War II had begun. Second World War, Winton sought registration as a conscientious objector and served during the war with the Red Cross, but in 1940 he rescinded his objection to join the Royal Air Force, Administrative and Special Duties branch. He was initially an airman, rising to sergeant by the time he was commissioned on June 22, 1944 as an acting pilot officer on probation. On August 17, 1944 he was promoted to pilot officer on probation. He was promoted to the rank of war substantive flying officer on February 17, 1945. He relinquished his commission on May 19, 1954, retaining the honorary rank of flight lieutenant. That's life, Winton kept quiet about his humanitarian exploits for many years, until his wife Greet found a detailed scrapbook in their attic in 1988. It contained lists of the children, including their parents' names, and the names and addresses of the families that took them in. By sending letters to these addresses, 80 of Winton's children were found in Britain. The world found out about his work in 1988 during an episode of the BBC television programme That's Life, when he was invited as a member of the audience. At one point Winton's scrapbook was shown, and his achievements explained. The host of the program, Esther Ranson, asked whether any in the audience owed their lives to Winton, and, if so, to stand a year or more than two dozen people surrounding Winton rose and applauded. Notable people saved, Alfred Dubbs, Baron Dubbs, Carol Rice, 
Joe Schlesinger, Renata Laxava, Haney Halberstam, Hugo Maram, Sir Nicholas is on record as acknowledging the vital roles of Beatrice Wellington, Doreen Warner, Trevor Chadwick and others in Prague. Winton was only in Prague for about three weeks before the Nazis invaded. He never set foot on Prague station. As he wrote, Chadwick did the more difficult and dangerous work after the Nazis invaded. He deserves all praise. The full story is told in The Rescue of the Prague Refugees 1938-39, with which Sir Nicholas says he is delighted. Honours In the 1983 Queen's Birthday Honours, Winton was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire for his work in establishing the Abbey Field Homes for the Elderly in Britain, and in the 2002 New Year Honours, he was knighted in recognition of his work on the Czech Kinder Transport. He met the Queen again during her state visit to Bratislava, Slovakia in October 2008. In 2003, Winton received the Pride of Britain Award for Lifetime Achievement. Winton was awarded Order of Tomas Garrick Mazarik, 4th Class, by the Czech President in 1998. In 2008, he was honoured by the Czech government in several ways. An elementary school in Kuna Three Quarters Arc is named after him, and he was awarded the Cross of Merit of the Minister of Defence, Grade I. The Czech government nominated him for the 2008 Nobel Peace Prize. The Minor Planet 19384 Winton was named in his honour by Czech astronomers Jana Tyka and Marlo Tyka one half. Winton was baptised as a Christian, but his Jewish ancestry disqualified him from being declared a righteous among the nations by Israel. In 2010, Winton was named a British Hero of the Holocaust by the British government. In September 2010, his statue was unveiled at Maidenhead Railway Station by Home Secretary Theresa May, MP for Maidenhead. Created by Lydia Karpinska, it depicts Winton sitting on a bench and reading a book. Another statue in his honour is on Platform 1 of the Praha Levna Nadra Three Quarters a railway station. It depicts Winton holding a child and standing next to another one. Created by Floor Kent, it was unveiled as part of a larger commemoration of the 70th anniversary of the last Kinder Transport train, September 1, 2009. In 2014 the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation established a school's literary competition named for Winton. The contest is for high school students, who are invited to write essays about Winton's legacy. 100th birthday, to celebrate his 100th birthday, he flew over the White Waltham airfield in a microlight piloted by Judy Leiden, the daughter of one of the boys he saved. His birthday was also marked by the publication of a profile in the Jewish Chronicle. Winton Train On September 1, 2009 a special Winton train set off from the Prague main railway station. The train, comprising an original locomotive and carriages used in the 1930s, headed to London via the original Kinder transport route. On board were several surviving Winton children, and their descendants, who were welcomed by Winton in London. The occasion marked the 70th anniversary of the intended last kinder transport, due to set off on September 3, 1939 but prevented by the outbreak of the Second World War. At the train's departure, Winton's statue was unveiled at the railway station. Popular culture Winton's work is the subject of three films by Slovak filmmaker Mage Minor Infinite The Drama All My Loved Ones, in which Winton was played by Rupert Graves, the documentary The Power of Good, Nicholas Winton, which won an Emmy Award and the documentary drama Nicky's Family. A play about Winton, Numbers from Prague, was performed in Cambridge in January 2011. See also, Dimitar Peshov, a Bulgarian diplomat, Minister of Justice before World War II. He rebelled against the pro-Nazi cabinet and prevented the deportation of Bulgaria's 48,000 Jews. Chun Sujihara, a Japanese diplomat who in 1940 wrote travel visas that allowed more than 6,000 Jewish refugees to escape from Lithuania. Irina Sengela, a Polish nurse social worker who smuggled some 2,500 Jewish children out of the Warsaw Ghetto. Aristides de Sousa Mendes, a Portuguese diplomat, issued visas to thousands of refugees fleeing Bordeaux, France. Walter Tsar one quarter Skind, a Dutch factory manager who helped about 600 Jewish children escape the Holocaust. 
Angel Sanz Briz, a Spanish diplomat posted in Budapest who saved 5,200 Hungarian Jews from Nazi persecution by providing them with Spanish documents so that they could leave Hungary. Giorgio Perlasca, an Italian who posed as the Spanish Consul General to Hungary in the winter of 1944, and saved 52 18 Jews from transportation to Nazi Germany and the Holocaust. Oskar Schindler, an ethnic German industrialist, German spy, and member of the Nazi Party who is credited with saving the lives of 1,200 Jews during the Holocaust by employing them in his Enumware and Ammunitions factories, Gilberto Bosch Soldevar, Mexican consul in Marseille, who issued tens of thousands of visas to fleeing refugees, and rented a castle and a summer holiday camp in Marseille to house refugees under the protection of what he maintained was Mexican territory under international law. In 1943, Bosques, his family, and 40 consular staff members were arrested by the Gestapo and detained in Germany for a year. References External links Sir Nicholas Winton's meeting with many of the people he saved Campaign for Sir Nicholas Winton to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize 2013, Nicholas Winton Film Wins Emmy Czech Radio Interview, The New York Times Review of All My Loved Ones, Nicholas Winton A Euro The Power of Good A Euro Web, Breakfast with Frost, Interview with Sir Nicholas Winton and Lord Dubs. BBC Breakfast. January 5, 2003 A, Interview with Lady Milna Grenfell Baines, One of the Children Saved. Retracing a life-saving journey. BBC News August 31, 2009 A.